so we are now doing another pack and watch video once again and i didn't actually make a post for this video because i was like all right you know what i'm doing my two favorite maps for last call of the dead and uh shangri -La. but obviously this video is ascension i still have to do ascension so i'm doing it for this video now there is 31 weapons and as you always know the dual wield c75 i did test it and it does crash my game so it's packed a single one uh twice i also added the timer at the top right because someone commented on my moon video they uh wish i brought it back let me know if you guys want me to keep it or not uh, if not, I'll get rid of it. But if, you know, people don't really say anything about it, I might just keep it on. Because if people don't really have opinions on it, then I guess it doesn't really bother people. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep it on. Uh, 31 weapons, don't know if I said that. But I guess, let's get right into it, man. Alrighty, we are now in the game. I can go ahead and start the, uh, timer. There we go. And if you haven't played Ascension before, uh, it actually is black and white before you turn on the power. So it's this is not editing or anything. This is literally just how the map is. It is a little unfortunate. I'm going to buy Quick Revive though. And as I said, if you haven't played Ascension, there's also a thing called uh, Monkeys. Basically, when you turn on the power, and I think on around like 7 or something like that, there's these monkeys that come from the sky. And they basically go after your perks and can take your perks. So it is a very annoying map to play. And the monkeys are very, very strong. So really, the only weapons that can... You know, be effective is a Thunder Gun, the Mustang and Sally, and the Ray Gun. But as long as I don't lose my Cook Revive when they come, I should be all right. Because this is actually not an easy challenge at all. Like, Ascension sounds easy because you can train and all that stuff. But usually when you play this map, you have the Thunder Gun, so the monkeys are easy to kill. But if you don't have the Thunder Gun, it can be really hard. Because I actually attempted this before, and I failed it. Uh, mainly because the monkeys had taken my perks, and I was trying to get Jug back, and I was in just such a terrible spot, and I died. And it was just such a hard map to do, honestly. Like, this is not easy whatsoever i'm so used to punting against these perks man i don't know why i do it you don't even get points for it all right buying the apl now there we go i hate getting death machines on this game it's so annoying i wish you can get rid of them like you can on bo3 but it's whatever there we go uh we don't have enough points quite yet to actually get to power i believe it's one more door after this one might be mistaken though uh yeah it is one more i also forgot another thing is that a uh, meal kick you know i usually grab that because it's better to have three weapons to pack at a time than two or i guess you know you could have one weapon as your savior and then get two other weapons so the challenge can go by faster but this map not easy so getting meal kick is oh there we go rpk is actually really good getting meal kick is just a pain because wasting four thousand points and then losing the weapon it's it's just not worth the risk to buy meal kick i am gonna try to buy jug though Oh, it's monkeys already. So, you guys are gonna see the monkeys. I guess it's like one round after you buy or turn on the power that the monkeys come. I thought it was like round seven, but I guess not. Uh, but if you do kill the monkeys before they touch a perk, uh, you actually do get a free perk from them. But I don't want to risk grabbing one simply because I want to get the perks I actually want to get that will that are going to be helpful for me on this challenge. There you go. See, there is a perk. I don't really want to grab it. So I'm not going to grab it. But I am going to grab Jug though because I have just enough points. There we go. All right, I'm probably going to make my way to unlocking Pack-a-Punch. But to unlock Pack-a-Punch, you need to actually activate three, uh, three Lunar Landers. So there's one, like, over there, one you know, behind this door, and then there's one, like, right over there. So there's, like, one Lunar Lander in each part of the map. And you actually have to, like, ride the Lunar Landers, each one, and then for some reason it activates Pack-a-Punch. I don't really get it. I don't know. I just find it kind of unique. Oh, yeah, and the monkeys, I believe, come every four rounds. And I kind of already forgot. I think it was round, oh, round five, I, I think, actually, when the monkeys came. I had to really pay close attention. Because it always has to be ready for the monkeys since it's randomized what perks they go for. Which is a little annoying. Alright, writing the first Lunar Lander. There we go. And I believe I can unlock... Oh, I can actually make my way to another Lunar Lander. Alright, here's our second Lunar Lander. Just gotta make our way to the third one. And then we'll have Pack-a-Punch opened. Another max ammo. That's pretty clutch. It really doesn't matter, but... Ammo's always nice to have. Alright, now finally, the third and final Lunar Lander. Alright, now... After I activate all the Lunar Landers, as you see, uh, this rocket up here will turn fully green. I'm, ju I'm just showing this to people that uh, don't actually know how to unlock pack or don't know really what's going on. But after you actually uh, ride all Lunar Landers and that rocket's green, you actually have to go to power. And once you do that, you literally press this button right next to the power switch, and it launches the rocket. And then there's a door that also opens next to it, but I do need to stay here because monkeys are coming. And I need to make sure I protect Jug and Quick Revive. Well, I guess that means I could pack my 1911s if I get enough points for it. Now I just need to protect Quick Revive and Jug. Okay, there we go. Got all the monkeys off. Perfect. That was close. That was really close. But I can actually go pack my 1911. Of course, when I get the chance to, I don't want to do it mid-round because Pack Punch is in a pretty uh, rough area if you don't have a whole horde of zombies right behind you so you can, like, kind of dodge them. So yeah, here is Pack a Punch where the rocket was and then right in here. There it is, right there. If I can pack uh, both the RPK and 1911 this round. Is that a death machine? It is. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm so close to getting both these packed. This is last, though. I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. It wasn't. Okay. 
All right, now here's our first weapon, the 1911. Thank God I have this already. Perfect. Now I can finally mark it off. That is, oh, that's one. Oh, not 131, one, there we go. 30 more weapons. <laughs> You know what, I'm probably gonna buy uh, my last two perks, or I could try to go as long as I can, get like through the next monkey round, and then buy my perks. It might be easier that way. Is this last? Okay, but that's last, so I'm gonna go pack the RPK. All right, now here is the RPK that we'll make two. So I'm probably gonna wait until next monkey round so I can use the Mustang and Sally's to kill them. It'd be easier that way. And just like kind of get points that entire time. So when I go pack weapons, I can get them, Pack a punch him and hopefully get rid of him. Ooh, double points. Look at that. All right, I think it is now a monkey round. I'm hoping it is just so I can get it over with. Get new weapons out of the box. Let's see. Yep, it is. All right, good. Oh, no, they're taking my cooker vibe. No. Oh, again? Okay, there we go. Max ammo. No perks lost. I'm gonna try to uh, get new weapons out of the box as soon as I can. I, I don't want to get rid of my Mustang and Sally, but I kind of have to do it. I don't really have a choice. I, mean, I do have a choice, but eh. See if I can do it before zombies come in. Law, that, that is a bad weapon, so... You know what? It's too risky to be here. I don't want to be here at the, right at this moment, so... I'm going to buy a, a PhD and stamina up, though. I do need both of those. Very essential perks. Like that little PhD flop I just did. All right, now here's stamina up. Or maybe I can try to hit the box right now. Maybe it, it probably isn't a good idea, but I want to try. Bruh, out of everything in the box, I got what exactly what I traded out. I mean... I guess. I mean, these are both weapons that I really don't want to have. I know the crossbow is really good because of the monkey bomb effect it gives, but I'm not going for high rounds. So I guess getting both of these done together, I guess it's pretty decent. So here's a crossbow and the law that makes four weapons. So if I can hit the box again two times, get two new weapons that, you know, are kind of decent ish or like somewhat usable, they'd be pretty good for me. Of course, it's Hattie Bear. Bro, I've literally hit the box like four times. I gotta go on a little scavenger hunt to find the box. I always struggle to find it because the light's so misleading. Uh, unless it's just right there. Okay. Commando. All right, that's a pretty decent weapon. Actually, it's one of the better weapons of the game. Single CZ. That is usable. Double points. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Okay, one more zombie left, I believe. I'm gonna go pack both of these. So far, this is going good, but I haven't uh, lost any perks yet. So, I don't know, man. Well, here is the CZ and the Commando. That brings us to six weapons. Uh, not 76, six, there we go. Now I'm gonna get rid of them. I know I don't really show much gameplay of the weapons and I know you guys like seeing them or you've asked for me to show gameplay, but this map is terrifying. I gotta get rid, or I gotta do this map as soon as I can. Well, listen, knife, that is one that is bad. I am gonna take it. Come on, give me a point weapon. Don't, if, it, if it's something like that I cannot use for points, I'm not grabbing it. I mean, eh, I can use it. It is usable for points. I don't know how good the python's actually going to be for me to get points. It's really not that. I mean, it does have a good amount of ammo though. So maybe I can get up to 10k with it. Oh, death machine. There you go. Here's our solution. Just that easy, man. Just that easy. There we go. There is seven. Perfection. I think it is pretty clutch that I got the monkey rounds on um, like a number that's divisible by five. Because it's really easy to know when they're coming. Oh, that was close. You know, sometimes I feel like a dumbass because I had to pop my recording because I had to go help my dad. And I'm at eight weapons. I packed a python and then I also had a fire sale and I'm, I had the FAMAS as well. It's out of ammo completely. I'm very close to getting this thing packed. I need literally 110 more points. So I'm going to look for some barriers to actually um, repair. But we are going to pack the FAMAS. So this brings us to nine weapons. There we go. And if they attack PhD or stamina, that's all right. Yeah, they're probably gonna take my stamina up. This thing is not good. I think the rest are at stamina up, which is okay, because that's like the one perk I don't really mind losing. God, look how strong these monkeys are. This is actually unfair. <laughs> well, there we go. We killed them, so we're chilling. Look at this brick, bro. Shit goes crazy. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get two new weapons out of the box. Might be a bad idea because I won't have a packed weapon, but it's okay. We take the risk. Well, that's why we take the risk. Ray gun. Okay. Both of the wep <laughs> both the one weapons in this map I got at the same time. Well, there's 10k, so I can get both the thunder gun and ray gun packed. Here is a thunder gun and the ray gun. That now brings us to 11 weapons. Now, I'm gonna hit the box though, because I really don't need a ray gun. Thunder gun's more important. So I have two two spins to hopefully get a new weapon. Teddy bear. Ooh, that actually works. I'm gonna hit it one more time. 
because the dragon office is really hard to get points with and if i do get a new weapon that is nice now we just gotta get, gather some points back up i forgot to resume the timer oh my god you know what i actually can fix it it's okay okay there we go i i, I changed it to now 48 minutes because that's pretty much what i'm at on my recording so i should resume it there we go yay we are at 5k now so i'm gonna trade up or trade up train up all the zombies so i'm just gonna bring the entire horde with me into pack a punch all right here is a dragon off that makes 12 weapons boom give me a point weapon because i really need one okay that's not a point weapon nope yep it's right here you have two box hits i'm gonna keep the thunder gun until monkeys come around again well i'm stuck with a commando but i did get gersh's so that is pretty uh pretty clutch might just keep the commando and build up points with it okay i can buy my phd again so i'm just gonna throw a gersh down because why not boom damn that guy went flying l96 there we go i'm gonna go pack this and get rid of it right away because it's a sniper and i really don't want to use it and I've, i'm trying to keep my thunder gun as long as i can because i want to trade it out once i get a weapon that you know i can actually use other than the thunder gun that can be somewhat decent because progressing rounds is not that easy when you have bad weapons all right well here's l96 that is now 13. oh china lake oh god i mean i could try this is like one of the only last terrible weapons i have left like really, really bad. Everything else is pretty usable after that. Bro, I just want to train my zombies and I got stuck up. <sighs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> Bro, happened again. Well, we're back up to 5k and I know zombies like don't really despawn in this game. I'm just quickly going to go pack the China Lake to get over with i don't want to use it there we go china lake is now completed that brings us to 14. now it's time to use the china beach such a better upgrade yay teddy bear bro moment galil that's perfect i could get rid of my thunder gun too since it's a good point weapon specter okay you know that's one i'll use it there we go we are now at 10k so i need to try to trade up all the zombies and we'll pack both of these well, here's the specter makes 15 and the galil which makes 16 there we go more than halfway oh fire sale actually really huge okay that works it's nice that i got a thunder gun again so if next round is monkeys i can deal with them let's see i, I want to keep the thunder gun so i'm gonna try to get two weapons out of the box and pack them one at a time teddy bear bro g11 okay that's one of them that's one of them perfect well, here's a g11 that makes 17 we're more than halfway going good i haven't downed yet surprisingly on my last round i literally like i think died before this round which is terrible oh and the spaz i need uh, i need, need, need this too that's actually perfect and i could even hit the box again after i pack it to see if i can get another weapon to pack on next round well here is the spaz that brings us to 18 weapons i have two more hits on the box so if i get something new or if i get a full auto weapon i'm taking it oh i only have five more box weapons left and then i can move on to wall weapons which is pretty clutch let's see if it's monkeys yep okay that's so sad yeah probably gonna lose stamina up which is okay i think they're all at stamina up. yeah they are okay i swear you lose it like right when it gets when you get there too which is so stupid okay we're at 10 2k i meant uh i do have an hit skill so i'm just gonna go ahead and clear out these zombies real quick okay i'm gonna buy a stamina up now oh this is not good well i'm out of ammo on my spaz so i gotta rely on the thunder gun i might just grab the mp5 just to get some points like get a lot of points i wish there was a wall weapon like up here like if the mp5 was right there instead that'd be so lit come on give me something please something that i don't have Ugh, brother dolls Teddy bear. Oh, I think I actually it's going to my training spot. I'm going to buy some claymores because why not? It should go here. If not, I don't know where else it would go. What? Oh, I guess spawn too. I could go train and spawn. That is a good spot. If it's in spawn, that is. Okay. Yeah, it is here. Good. Keep hitting the law, which is really annoying. Bruh, the law is just my curse. I can't grab those. God damn it. It's a one I need to. Oh, oh okay. There we go. I need to pack this again to make up for the do wield one. So it's another one. I just need to get 5k points. I might honestly keep the thunder gun for the rest of the game until I get to wall weapons. I don't know if I'll get up to 5k points. No, I will not. Okay. I have grenades I can use. Well, I'm only <laughs> barely off. If I go to pack punch, kill all the zombies, I should have 5k. Eh, I'll just kill them all now. Now I can go pack. All right, here we go. 19. Boom. 
Oh, double points. Ooh. Bonk. That. Oh, fuck. What was. Uh, th I think this round's a monkey round. Oh, it's not. Really thought it was. And I was gonna be so screwed. I also really thought that it wasn't the end of the round and I killed the zombies, but I guess it was. <gasps> That's the FAL. I think I need that. Never been so happy to get the FAL. Holy shit. I'm gonna go try to pack this. All right, here we go. FAL. That brings us to 20. Might try to pack the Thunder Gun too while I'm here. If I can get the points. Because I'm going to keep it until I get all the box weapons done. And I'm pretty confident next round is monkeys. All right. Pack the Thunder Gun again. Obviously, I'm not counting it again, but just getting it. The only box weapons I need left is the AUG, the HS-10, and the HK-21. Usually, I get all those weapons, like, early on in the games. But this game, I just can't get either of them. Or any, uh, any of them. Teddy bear. Okay. I'm pretty confident now that it is going to my training spot. Please go here. Where else could it go? Oh my god. And there's another bro. I keep forgetting. Like, I just I, I know all the box spawns on this map, but I keep forgetting where they are. HS10. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, the zombies are here. Okay, we, we can work with this. We can work with this. I don't know if you guys know what the sickle is. I, I know some of you know what the sickle is, but it's actually introduced on this map. I was going to get it to like kind of show it off, show what this map has to offer, but I completely forgot about it. And I was more focused on surviving, so. Does not look like I'm going to be able to get up to 5k points with the HS-10. Big Sag. Oh, I could use uh, grenades though. Hey, grenades will actually work. I got PhD exists. There we go. I'm going to pack the HS-10 finally. Well, here is 21. That is the HS-10. Uh, I think I counted the FAI when I did it. I hope I did. Or else that will literally screw everything up. HS-10 is actually pretty solid. I mean, maybe not around 31, but it's a pretty good shotgun. I feel like it's really underrated. Well, down to the last zombie, but I do have a death machine, which kind of sucks. So I only need two more. Augur HK. If I can get one of those and be able to pack them, that'll be huge. Uh, okay. It should be moving to my training spot now. It's not? Bro, how many spots are there for the box? Oh, so I guess the box doesn't rotate like it usually does at every spot. Unless it was at my train. There's no way. Oh, my God. I thought it rotates on every spot. I don't know. I always forget things, so who knows? Okay, it should be monkeys, though. It's not? What? You know what? I'm going to get a whole train of zombies, throw a Gersh down, and see if I can get a drop. Preferably a fire sale. You know, whatever. I'm just going to throw it now. Come on, give me a fire sale. I did not mean... I just threw a second one on accident. Oh. Well, no drop, and I'm, I'm holding on to one. Fuck, this is going to be annoying. See, I want to go try to hit the box, but the box isn't such a terrible location. And I can't really, like, train the zombies around like I can at, like, every other spot. HK! That's a big, oh, yeah, moment. Just gotta get up to 5k. There we go. Oh, god, I forgot there's a staircase there. They can all just funnel down. Well, here's 22. Boom. One more box weapon. The AUG. I, dude, I swear, I always get the AUG, like, early on in games whenever I'm playing, like, every map. I guess besides Ascension. Ooh, fire sale. That could actually be huge. Ray gun and I didn't pick it up. Oh, why can't you pick up weapons when you're running, man? It's so stupid. FAL, bro. Okay, I got one more hit. And dual wields, CZs. Okay. I'll try to get as many points as I can and then hit the box as many times as I can to hopefully get the AUG. Because after the AUG, it's literally like home free as long as I get past the monkey round. I, I, about 15k should really be enough to get the AUG and maybe even pack it. Bro, the dolls. I'm getting like every weapon that I just already have, bro. Like. I keep getting the same weapons over and over. That's what I meant to say. <gasps> oh, we got it. And I have 5k. Holy shit, dude. That's actually insane. Well, our last box weapon. There we go. That is 23. And I am super confident that next round is a monkey round. Very confident. We're pretty much home free once this round is over with. If I can save all my perks too, that'd be huge. Sounds like they're only taking PhD. Well, now it's pretty much home free. Okay, I really could get Meal Kick, since now I I really don't have to worry about perks. I don't, unless the next monkey round is like 37, which even then, that's far away. So I might just go for Meal Kick, because that'll make the challenge go by a lot faster. All right, I have enough for Meal Kick now, so I am going to go grab it, since this is the entire horde of zombies. And I might grab the Olympia as well. Where is the Olympia, isn't it? Oh, I think the Olympia is actually up here. Yeah, here it is. Oh, I don't have PhD anymore, so I actually do need to be careful. I'm trying to get up to 10k, because I thought about it, and maybe I could actually do two weapons at a time now, and keep the Thunder Gun just in case, you know, I get in a little pinch or something. So if I end up die downing or whatever, then I have a weapon that can get me out of a jam. Okay, well, there we go, 10k. I need to buy the M14. Might uh, go pack these two. 
Here is 24 and 25. Okay, I should be able to get uh, the stake out and pack the MP5 and the stake out together. Oh, it's right here. Okay, that's good. Oh, I just jumped out right in front of him. Holy shit. Here is 26 and 27. Boom. Okay, uh, I might actually... I'm just gonna shoot my thunder gun. Boom, baby. Okay, you know what? I can't really get up to 10k. Oh, wait. Are they still spawning? Oh, well, I'm gonna grab the M16 anyway. I need a point weapon. There we go. And I may as well, while I'm here, grab the uh, PM63, since that is literally right down here. The, yeah, it's right, oh, no, what? oh, it's right here, yeah, there we go. And after that, the MPL's right there. Looks like I'll be able to get 10K. I won't be able to pack the last two weapons this round, because I believe this is literally the last few zombies this round, but there is 10K, so I can pack these two. And we'll only have two more. Here is 28 and 29. We are so, so close. Only two more weapons. Do you know what? I can probably go ahead and grab those two weapons. I think I have enough. I think the MPL is only 1,000 and the 74U is 1,200. Yep, there we go. Last two weapons. I just hope I can get 10K with these two weapons. Ah, eh, I should be able to. The 74U has a lot of ammo. Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to get the 10K. Uh... Hmm. I don't really want to go out and buy more ammo because that's really annoying. Double points and a Gersh. Or I could do this, actually. I forgot I had didn't have P... Oh, mother of God. Okay, that was probably the stupidest thing I've ever done in any Zombies game. Genuinely the stupidest thing ever. I... You guys do not understand how stupid I feel right now for doing that. Literally the dumbest possible thing I could have done. Well, I got the perks back. I could have gone flawless, man. That is so sad. Okay, this should be my last clip. E yes. Okay. 10k. All right. We can go pack this last two. I am so happy I didn't die because if I literally died right there, I would have just been done. I mean, I probably would have redone the challenge knowing me because I'm committed. But at the same time, it's like I literally basically completed the challenge. But luckily, I didn't die. If I didn't have the thunder gun... As I said, I'm going to have it for safety reasons. That's, that was literally my savior. I wouldn't have survived without it. Well, here's 30. And finally, 31. Oh my God. What a game this has been. I was hoping to go flawless, but of course, my stupidity got the best of me. Uh, I guess I'll just end the game there. And there's not really much else to do. And it was kind of anticlimactic whenever you end a game. Just does cut scene. But may as well pause the timer. As you guys can see, it took about two hours. I think the timer is a little off. So I'd say more like two hours and seven minutes. But yeah, that's basically been the video. If I, did, if I didn't die, man, I would have went flawless. But that's it. Uh, make sure you join my Discord. Link in the description should be like the first. Or, or not the first link. But if you just scroll down the description, you'll find it. Make sure you also subscribe. Turn notifications on. And, uh, you know, but yeah. That's all I have for you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, boys.